We just attended a woodworking trade show at which we demonstrated resawing wood on the AccuSlice system. What surprised the woodworkers at this meeting was first of all the smoothness of the cuts we received utilizing the AccuSlice system, and secondly the fact we saw no blade drift issues. In fact, blade drift issues was the number one question we received at this meeting. Over three days we met with several hundred woodworkers and we resawed several hundred pieces of wood utilizing the AccuSlice system. All the cut boards were straight and parallel, end to end and top to bottom. We saw no blade drift issues. However, as a result of the numerous questions we received from people at this meeting concerning blade drift, I decided to investigate this and describe it in more detail. I've been woodworking for over 50 years and I've always had issues when trying to resaw boards on the bandsaw. When you're resawing boards on the bandsaw, you're doing two things at once. You're pushing the wood against the bandsaw fence to keep it flat. At the same time, you're pushing it 90 degrees into the bandsaw blade to cut the wood. Any change in hand pressure and position, or even shifting body position, causes the wood to move. And when the wood starts moving, you start getting, you start getting blade drift and the blade drift results in saw marks in the wood being cut, burn marks in the wood being cut, and even changes in the thickness of the wood being cut. At the same time, the bandsaw fence itself must be perfectly parallel to the bandsaw blade. If it's not, once again, you get uh, blade drift. I've tried all kinds of gadgets to try and accommodate this. I've tried both the double and two layer uh, feather boards to keep the wood you know, flat against the fence. Made and try these uh, special fences with a pivot point that you can move the wood as you're putting it, pushing it through the bandsaw blade to try and keep it going straight. <clears throat> I've even purchased specialty fences that enable you to align the fence to keep it perfectly parallel to the blade. No matter what I did, I always made my wood between a sixteenth of an, and an eighth of an inch thicker than I needed. This gave me enough wood left that I could run it through the board thickness planer or my board sander to sand it straight and even and get out the saw marks. I just wasted a lot of wood in this procedure. The AccuSlice system was designed to eliminate most of these issues, but one must still take care in setting up the system. The AccuSlice uses a rail and carry system, much like that used in a sawmill, in which the wood to be cut is permanently affixed to a carriage if it can't move and this carriage slides, slides along a rail into the bandsaw blade. So there's no lateral movement of the board that you would have in conventional resawing. The only movement or any force you would have would be straight into the bandsaw blade itself. The AccuSlice system mounts into the miter bar slot on the bandsaw tabletop. It just locks into position with three quarter turn locking screws. The AccuSlice rail and the carriage are perfectly parallel to this uh, miter bar on the system. It's therefore, it's imperative that this miter bar be perfectly parallel to your bandsaw blade. There's no adjustment for this alignment at all. Normally, the only adjustment that might be possible is to change the angle of the blade on the uh, bandsaw wheel itself. After the AccuSlice system has been installed on the bandsaw, a piece of testing wood is attached to the AccuSlice carriage with double-sided tape. Then a test cut through the test board is started. After cutting several inches, the sawing is stopped and the alignment of the bandsaw blade and the kerf of the cut is examined. At the back of the blade opposite the teeth, the gap on both sides of the blade should be noted. Ideally, the blade should be perfectly centered in the kerf of the board. It can be off a little as long as the back edge of the blade is not touching either side of the wood. If it is touching the wood, you have a tendency to get blade drift. And then we can finish cutting this piece of wood. The 
presence of blade drift will be especially noticed if after cutting a board you cannot move the board back to its starting position for its next cut without readjusting its position. Now let's just clear the blade perfectly. If your blade was not perfectly aligned in the uh, curve slot on your blade, you can do a minor adjustment by adjusting the angle of the blade or the position of the blade on your uh, bandsaw wheel. By adjusting this knob over on the right side, either clockwise or counterclockwise, I can change the position of the blade either to the left or the right on the bandsaw bl uh, blade wheel. And since this wheel is concave, by moving it left or right, I can change the angle of the blade a little bit and they give me a better positioning of the blade in the kerf of the wood being cut. <clears throat> I played with this a little bit on mine and I found that actually my blade dead center in the middle of the bandsaw wheel gives me perfect cuts with no blade drift whatsoever. I especially like these ceramic blade guides by Laguna on the bandsaw. They're easy and quick to align and set up and just use thumb screws to do your adjustment. I begin the alignment by first of all loosening the side guides and then positioning my back guide that just touches the back of the blade so that there's no movement of the blade in and out. And then the side guides I just move against the blade and tighten in place. It's that quick and easy to adjust these blade guides. It is important that the ceramic spacers on the uh, blade guides do not touch the uh, uh, teeth on the blade. They should be behind the teeth and behind the gullet on the blade and just right on the flat portion of the blade. After doing all the checking and adjusting to describe, I proceeded to cut some boards. And that board coming off the bandsaw, straight and parallel. In fact, it's only 20 thousandths of an inch thick. And that measures all the way around all four corners and top to bottom and end to end. And you notice when I brought the, uh, the board back, it went back completely. You didn't have to do any adjustments, so the blade drift is right in there. It's good. One additional thought, if after sawing, you start to see some burn marks or shadow marks on your wood being cut such as this. What that tells you is your blade is dull on your bandsaw. It's time to change the blade. At this recent trade show, after about 10 hours of cutting and cutting hundreds of pieces of wood, we started to see this shadowing. I changed the blade and the problem went away. It, uh, the blade uh, was sharper and took care of it and it was cleaned it right up. We enjoy doing this recent trade show. It's beneficial for us to get together with our fellow woodworkers to get their opinions, their concerns, and their input on how we can improve the AccuSlice and give it new features and capabilities. Again, we thank you for your input and we hope that this video was helpful. Thank you.